Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how to set up the Amazon Echo Show. And then after setting it up, I'm gonna take you over to my smartphone and showing you how you can download and install the Alexa app and set things up over there so that you can get the full capabilities out of your Echo Show. So starting off here with step number one, make sure you have your Wi-Fi and Amazon accounts and passwords ready. We're gonna need these in the setup process. But going on to step two, what we're gonna do is plug the Echo Show 5 into a power outlet. So it comes with a power adapter. One end we're gonna plug in to a wall outlet and then the other end is going to plug in to the back of the Echo Show 5. So one end into the wall, the other end here into the back of our Echo Show 5, and then it'll just take a little bit of time for it to boot up once you have it plugged in. Step number three is gonna be following the on-screen setup. And during this process, we're gonna log in with an existing Amazon account, username and password. But if you don't have an Amazon account, you can also create a new one during this process. But that takes us over to the initial boot up screen. And it takes us to this page here where it says select device language. For me, it's gonna be English, so I'm gonna click that option. And it says, was this Echo device already set up online? So I haven't set it up online yet, so I'm gonna click no. And it's gonna search for networks in my general vicinity. So this is gonna be my Wi-Fi network. And for me, that's gonna be ASUS 22, but for you, it's gonna be whatever your Wi-Fi router is named. So click on your Wi-Fi router, and then you're gonna enter in your Wi-Fi password, and then click done, and then click connect at the bottom. And it may already automatically hook you up with your Amazon account. You just need to confirm by entering in your Amazon password, but otherwise you can switch it to a different Amazon account. And for me, I'm gonna enter in the Amazon email as well as password that I want this device associated with, and then I'm gonna click sign in. And once you successfully sign into your Amazon account, it's going to say that this device is now registered with the name that is on that account. So I can click agree and continue. It says, first things first, Alexa is designed to protect your privacy. You can always learn more about this over at amazon.com slash Alexa privacy. So I'm gonna click continue and double check to make sure your time zone is correct and then click continue. So at this point you can select your address and what this will do is it'll give you local weather, traffic information, things such as that. So you can select one of your Amazon addresses that you've entered before into your Amazon account. Otherwise you can enter in a new address. But once you do that, you can click continue at the bottom. And then you can name this device whatever you want. I'm just gonna keep the standard name in there and then click continue. Then selecting the room that our device is going to be in. So mine's gonna be in the living room. So I'm gonna click on that. And then you can choose to have the display show your photos or selecting one of the other options. I'm gonna do the nature option and then click continue. You can use the Echo Show to monitor your home. So it will allow members of your household to live stream this Echo Show camera anytime, anywhere through the Alexa app and connected devices. An indicator will appear when someone in your household is streaming the camera. So it's a security device that you can use to look through the camera through the app. So if you'd like to enable this, you can click enable. And then it says all set. This Echo Show will now appear as a camera in your Alexa app. To see this, you go to devices, then cameras in the app to try a live view. And if you wanna set up Amazon Sidewalk, you can do so by clicking continue, otherwise you can disable it. If you wanna make this device kid friendly, you can click yes, otherwise you can select no. And then it's gonna give us some different offers here. If you want a trial of Amazon Music, you can do so, otherwise you can click no thanks. And it usually also gives an audible trial if you'd like to try that out, otherwise you can also select no on that. Then it'll take you through some different menu pages to familiarize yourself with the device, some different things that you can ask it, but at the end, it'll take you over to the home page. And at this point, we're set up and ready to go. So if you wanna open up the settings menu, you can do so by dragging down from the top screen area up here. And that'll give you the settings menu here as well as some additional options in the menu. And then to get rid of it, you just drag up on that screen to take us back to the home page. Also the physical buttons here on the top of the Echo Show, we have mute microphone, volume down and volume up. And then you can cover the camera with this. So if we slide it over, we can see that the camera is covered. Slide it the other way, the camera is on. Now at this point, I'm gonna take you over to step four in the setup process, which is downloading and installing the Alexa app. A lot of you might already have this app on your phone, but just showing you where this is located in the app itself. So I'm gonna take you over to my smartphone screen. All right guys, so now I'm over on my smartphone. If you don't already have the Amazon Alexa app downloaded and installed, you can do this on Android through the Google Play Store. Just look up the Alexa app, download and install it. If you're on iPhone, you can do this through the App Store. But once we have the Alexa app on our phone, we're gonna launch it. And if this is your first time launching the Alexa app, you'll be prompted to log in using your Amazon credentials so it knows what account to hook up with. So we've already gone through the setup process on our Echo Show, so it should show up in our devices. So going down here towards the bottom and clicking on where it says devices, 
And I can see right here in my devices, the Echo Show 5 is set up and ready to go. It's online. I can click on it right here. And you get some different menu options in here for your Echo Show. But to see that live camera, you have the camera option right here if you want to click on that. And to use this, the microphone permission is required for this feature. So if you want to turn on microphone permission, I'm going to go back to my home page. And then I'm going to hold down on the Alexa app to bring up this menu page. And then I'm going to click on app info and then go to my permissions. And it needed microphone permission. So I'm going to click on microphone and I'm going to allow this permission while using the app. So clicking that option. So now going back and opening up the Alexa app. So this is the live view of the camera. I just have it pointed towards a wall, so it's not very interesting, but that's what that looks like. Now going back to the previous page, in that Echo Show menu, if we scroll down, you can set up manually photos that you want to show up on the screen. There's some different options with the photos if you'd like to see those. Going back to the home page, on the home page, you have additional options in your Alexa to set different things up with your Alexa devices. We can set up our music, for instance. I have Spotify as my main music option. And if we scroll down, you can see different options here to link different music services, depending on which one you have. And that's going to bring us to the end of this video. So I hope it was helpful setting you up and how you link it up with the Amazon Alexa app to get the most out of your device. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll see you back here next time.